All right, so here are the answers to the homework from last night. And we are on problem number three now. You add two, your result is 2x is greater than negative 14. Divide both sides by two, x is greater than negative seven. Open circle on the negative seven going to the right. Number four, you have to get rid of a plus two. So you subtract two from both sides. You now have negative 3x is less than or equal to 15. You are going to divide both sides by a negative number. That causes your inequality sign to flip. You end up with the answer x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Closed circle going to the right. Number 5. In number 5 you have to get rid of a plus 4 so you subtract 4. You then have 3 is less than x divided by 2. You then multiply both sides by 2. And you have 6 is less than x. Are there any questions? Open circle on the 6 going to the right. Any questions on that? So let's go to number 6. In number 6, you add 1 to both sides. You then have x divided by 5 is greater than or equal to negative 1. To undo dividing by 5, you multiply both sides by 5. x is greater than or equal to negative 5. It's going to be an open circle on the negative 5 going to the right. Are there any questions? On the next problem in number 7, you subtract 8. You now have negative 12 is less than or equal to 4x. Divide both sides by a positive 4. You end up with negative 3 is less than or equal to x. A closed circle on the negative 3. x has the big N. Big numbers live to the right. Number 8. We add 3 to both sides. You now have negative 3x is greater than 15. Divide both sides by a negative 3. That will cause your inequality sign to flip. You now have x is less than negative 5. Open circle on the negative 5 going to the left. Are there any questions? In number 9 you have to write an inequality and then solve it. In number 9 a rental company charges $15 plus $4 an hour to rent a bicycle. If Margie does not want to spend more than $27 for her rental, write and solve an inequality to find how many hours she can rent the bicycle and not spend more than $27. All right, your equation is going to be, or your inequality equation is going to be 15 plus 4 times h, $4 an hour, is less than or equal to 27. Our job is to isolate or quarantine the h. So first we get rid of the 15, you subtract. You now have 4 times h is less than or equal to 12. Divide both sides by 4 and she can rent the bicycle for 3 hours or less. h is less than or equal to 3 hours. Any questions? All right, let's go to the last one on this page. This person is mowing grass to save money for a vacation. He charges $12 per yard. He already has $40 and wants to have at least $148 to take with him. Write and solve an inequality to determine how many yards he needs to mow to have at least $148. Interpret the solution. Well, he gets $12 per yard, so 12 times y. He already has $40. How much more does he need? Is greater than or equal to 148. Well, you subtract 40 from each side. 12y is greater than or equal to 108. Divide it by 12, and he has to cut 9 or more yards. y is greater than or equal to 9 yards. Any questions? Okay, 
Now let's go to problem number two on the back side was another homework problem. In number two, the first thing you do is get rid of your plus seven, so you subtract seven. And you have six is less than or equal to negative x. Okay, this is the tricky part. Negative x is the same thing as a negative one x. So just divide both sides by negative one. And now you have a positive x. And six divided by a negative one is negative six. And since you multiplied, or in this case divided both sides by a negative one, your inequality sign flipped. And that's what I want to make sure you all did. Your final answer is negative six, close circle on the negative six, is less than or equal to x. Well, x has the big N, the big numbers are to the left. Are there any questions? Okay, now I'm going to give you the notes for today and then we're going to do an edulastic at the last part of class. So I'm going to stop this.